welcome back to Red Ted Art. It is finally time I made a Harry Potter corner bookmark. Isn't he cute? I decided to go for cute um, rather than cool, if that's the right word. Um, I've debated about this bookmark for ages because I do want to make things that you guys find easy. And I knew that with this one, you would have to also learn a little bit about drawing and coloring. So I've tried to keep it as simple as possible, as always. Um, and hopefully, you know, you will find the process easy and you will enjoy having a go at making this Harry Potter bookmark. Now, one thing to remember, um, I just put the corner on this side. I should have actually had it flipped over on the other side. So when you're doing your painting, just think first which side you want to be able to slide this over your book. So with mine, I have to put it on the left side of my book rather than the right side but I don't think it really matters he's still really cute anyway let's have a look and see the step-by-step -step guides to how to make your own Harry Potter bookmark so to make our Harry Potter bookmark we will need a square piece of paper some pencils of any type that you've got or coloring pens scissors um, I've got these coins sort of to trace with but um, you know, you just have to have a look at what you've got at home. Like with all our bookmarks, we begin by creating a square piece of paper. Now, many of you have seen these many times, so I'm really sorry if it bores you to see the how to make a bookmark bit again. But I like to make my videos relevant to everyone, people who haven't seen my channel before and people who have. So I'd rather do things double than not at all. So you've got your square piece of paper and you've turned it into a triangle like this you bring the pointy corner up to the top corner repeat on the other side open up fold one of the two flaps down and tuck this other flap back and under and then again on this side bring it over and tuck it under. Now you've made your basic origami bookmark. This is where the origami ends and the decorating begins. Now I've decided to make Harry Potter by using the back. Um, I thought long and hard about it, but for me, it was the only way really to do it. So I'm gonna begin by um, sketching in some details. So for my Harry Potter, I want the eyes on the lower third, which is about here. And I want them kind of cutely far apart, something like this. I'm going to later go over them with my black pen. Then I want to create some glasses. Now I've got different um, sized coins to try out to see which ones I like. You know, you can see what you've got. And just with the glasses, it just means that you're able to create a neater circle. If you are going to use a circle, try and get the eyes right into the middle. In fact, I probably should have done my circles first and then added the eye, but it's okay. I think we can get it about right. I want to have a nice, neat circle. I think that's quite good. Don't worry about it finishing it off too neatly because I do want to go over with another black pen at the end. So I'm just going to add the, the, the details like so. Now, my Harry Potter will also have a little uh, neck and scarf. You don't have to have it, but I want to have it. So for that, I'm going to later cut these off. This is going to be the scarf and a little mouth. Now, very importantly for Harry is his red scar. I'm going to start with his hair first, though. Kind of just give it a wiggle that and here is going to be his scar. There we go. How do you think? That looks quite like him already, doesn't it? Um, let's give it a little trim because I want to shape him a little bit. You really don't have to if you don't want to. You can just do this, this one by colouring. You can have like a square Harry Potter face if you want. I'm also going to just trim the top because I can. Again, you don't have to, but I will. Here we go. And now comes the fun bit, the colouring. 
Now I'll probably um, fast forward parts of this. Oh, if I can open my pens. Let's just cut this open. I have used them before, but obviously opened them carefully. Here we go, look at that. The reason I decided uh, to use pens rather than paper in the right color is because I simply, I didn't have skin colored, um, I didn't have a skin colored paper. So I thought if I use pencils, um, the skin color could be easier to do. So I'm gonna first start off with a red bit because I really wanna get this, this scar showing. Here we go, I think that's really good. I also want to do some little kawaii cheeks, which I'm gonna kind of show halfway below the glasses. side and I want to have the uh, yellow and red scarf very dark. Let's see if I prefer this one. Mm, I think I'll go for the dark one actually. I don't think it matters too much. Now these are special pencils. I'm not going to do all of it because I've got my water pen. You'll see in a minute how that works. Can. you know if you don't have these water pens obviously color it in a bit neater than me I always go sideways to kind of see have less of a pencil mark so I'm using the flat side of my pencil like so and then I want the face now I don't want too much color in the face it's okay I think if there's a bit of Just be careful that when you draw over sort of the edges here, you don't want to have pencil marks. So you have to be quite light when you go over those sections. Oh, they shine through. Okay, let's get the water pen and see how this is gonna work. So these are special pens, but you can use a, a paint brush. You don't have to use this uh, brush type thing, but I'm gonna, you can use a, if you've got these pens, you can use a paint brush. I quite like these, I got them as a present. Now don't use too much water because it'll make your bookmark soggy. I think I might have used a bit already. You'll just have to let it dry. Now I want to do the face. Now my brush has got a bit of brown at the end, so I'm just going to clean it off on some scrap piece of paper. And now I want to get the, the, the pink or the skin tone kind of mix. Be careful when you get near the brown, you don't want the brown and the skin colour to mix. Also be careful around the pencil marks because they can smudge and around. Harry's scar that wants to put that nice and bright. Okay, and then finally, just the scarf. Okay. 
Okay, there you go. Now, this obviously is damp, so I'm gonna let it dry. And then once it's dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna add um, some details with a black pen to kind of really make him stand out. Okay, so our little bookmark is dry. Now, just for the finishing touches, which is to use a black pen, um, any sort of black pen, <laughs> and just add in the details so that they really stand out. You don't have to do this, it's just a style question. I think it looks nice. It doesn't have to be perfect either. There we go. And we have our very first Harry Potter bookmark finished. Um, now, if you like this one, you know, as usual, add it to your playlists, like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends about it, blah, 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 you know what the deal is. And um, also, if this video gets 500 likes and lots of comments, I can obviously have a go at Hermione, um, Dumbledore, Ron, uh, you know, some of the other characters as well, um, you know, depending on what you guys ask for. Anyway, uh, that's it really. So hope you like it. Bye.